I have to ask, where are you shipping the materials in from for it to cost that much? Yes. We conserve. <laughs> Morning everyone, it's still raining, it's ridiculous how much rain is coming out at the moment. We're going to go out to the council this evening for our budget meeting, which should be interesting, and live streamed if you want to see it. Actually, you won't be able to see it by now because it'll be over with by the time you see this, but I did mention it yesterday, so you'll see that. Anyway, I'd better get ready because I've got to do a lot of work. I've got to make sure that my you know, speeches for tonight's meeting, council meeting, are right before I go. So I've got a lot of work on that and also put the comics up. So let's get to it. Sometimes I don't know what to wonder about but the weather. I left the big camera at home because it was raining. I thought it was spotting on terrain. I thought it was going to be a bit dangerous to bring out a camera that's sort of waterproof. So I just got the little action camera which I'm using now. And now it's not raining at all, it's perfectly clear. Sometimes you just can't win. They broke pictures from Bolton's history in the place of the and just that we've been hand over by the Chinese government. Apparently they're now next to the mayor's parlour. All in all, I think it's a pretty good idea. The uh, changeover looks pretty good to me. It's nice to represent Bolton's past. And all of our heritage and I'm out of breath because I can't stairs. A few days off because I hurt my uh, leg and couldn't do exercises. Just made me unfit again. It's amazing how quickly you can become immensely unfit. But... Trying to get back to work. I just popped out to get Private Eye and uh, the Warhammer Legends collection. Now let's get back to work. Hey guys, down in the members room again for the town hall. I've got the uh, council, full council meeting tonight, which will be live streamed, as I think I've mentioned already. And basically I'm here to make sure that my speeches for tonight are finished and complete. I'm trying to keep them short. So we've only got five minutes to speak these days due to ridiculous rules that uh, were brought in. So five minutes, not much, but... I'll make it count. With all of us talking, we're going to cover everything, but uh, I've got a specific couple of things I want to mention, and that's pretty much how it's going to go. So I best go on with that, and uh, before I do that, I think it's time for a cup of tea. I'm logged in, all ready to go, but I think it's time for a cup of tea first, because tea helps with everything. Right, speeches are written. Time to go and get something to eat before the meeting, because the last thing you want is to end up being lightheaded while you're in there trying to make an argument. But uh, I've got plenty of time. You want to fight back? You can't be seen. Well, just back from council, and uh, surprise, surprise, Labour are lying about me on Twitter. What a surprise! I mean, they've got nothing better to do, have they? So let's have a look at the lies that they're putting out today. Well, the deputy leader of the council, Linda Thomas, has said. West Horton Tories don't want to refurbish West Horton Town Hall, says Councillor Kirk Robinson. Absolute lie. Here's what I actually said today in Council. The, council the budget laid out tonight by the Conservatives is a thorough, robust and far-reaching one that has been and will be covered in great detail by my colleagues, so I'm not going to go into all of it. But there is a section that I do want to address, however, and it's the issue of the repair to West Horton Town Hall, as my uh, colleague Councillor Wilde has just spoken about. Two and a half million pounds seems an extraordinary amount to be spending on a roof, even for a historic building like West Horton Town Hall. Bolton Town Hall, sorry, didn't need two and a half million for its roof, and it's a larger building. So why is West Horton's Town Hall so expensive? I have to ask, where are you shipping the materials in from for it to cost that much? We conserve <laughs> We Conservatives recognise the historic value of West Horton Town Hall, and we also recognise the heritage value for the community that this building represents. Nevertheless, two and a half million pounds is a ridiculous amount to spend on one single building. We therefore propose, as has been explained earlier, a one-off fund of one million pounds for the repair of West Horton Town Hall, both for the roof and for any other repairs that need to be undertaken on the building, and a one-off fund of one and a half million pounds for the repair and upgrade of West Horton's road and associated infrastructure. 
the people of West Horton will be far better served by improvements of this kind than simply throwing vast sums of money at one building. Moreover, the £1 million for the Town Hall must not be signed off until a fully costed building plan has been presented and accepted by this Council. We need to know what the... We need to know what the exact state of this building is and what exactly needs to be repaired. So, what part of that is supposedly not supporting re the refurbishment of the town hall? I want it to be the best it can be, but I won't just throw money at something nebulously in the hope that it will somehow work out. We want a fully costed business plan for that so that we know that the West Horton ratepayer is getting value for money. That's the Conservative stance. That's what we support. That's what we said tonight. That's what I said tonight. And it was live streamed, so people saw that I said that. But Labour still want to lie.